Okay, camera's cooled down again. You can see I made it a f about two feet. At least another foot to go. I've moved my blob down. And I'm getting a lot of transfer under my fingers, but I've only got a few little nicks and cuts. There's, you know, of course I also have stab marks from where, where I was using a breeding fid. So hi there, this trap with pocket snakes. And this is a fun little bolo type project that I started just to see how making a bolo cord would be using rawhide. And I spun the core, which is a goat rawhide two millimeter core, or it could be calf rawhide. I'm not sure. It was sold as calf rawhide, but everybody that's talked to me about it says they thought it was goat. So, okay. I didn't know one from the other because I'm a newbie at this stuff. Okay. I also moved the had to move it up and I'm now setting down breeding because I only have so much vertical space up there. And I'm not the fastest at plaiting, but and if you do this, please use gloves because you will cut yourself up even if you think you've got really good string that is already beveled and everything else. No matter how well you bevel it, it's still kind of sharp. And the more of this cream that gets into your hands, the softer, no matter how tough your hands are, your hands soften up just like the rawhide. Because they are also just skin. Do as I say, not as I do, or something like that. But you can do it however you want. This is me just playing with the rawhide as a material and I started a whole little part of my channel just to discuss me exploring it. Because I was curious and people were like, oh, that takes way too much patience. Uh, it does. <laughs> and unfortunately, I have patience. I don't have a lot of things. But I'm willing to try and fail, which is a more useful skill set than a lot of things. Being willing to fail is how you figure out new stuff. And I learned to make whips pretty much from scratch. Never had a book on braiding until a friend of mine gave me one. Uh, uh, did it get twisted or am I just twisting it as I go? No, I, I just you know, twisting it as I go. Yep, that's the skin side. And in some places, after you split the rawhide and you've, you end up with a very polished surface on both sides, and then it's really hard to tell if you're accidentally getting a strand upside down. So. I've been breeding at this for a while.
Well, I got a strand upside down, I think. So, much like everything else, when you make a mistake, you just undo it to where you made the mistake. Somebody asked me what this stuff is like. It's like breeding with razor wire or breeding with cactus wire. Because no matter how careful you are, you will get cut up. It's much like throwing a whip. No matter how much you throw it, you will eventually whack yourself, especially if you're trying to do something you've never done. There's the skin side again. It's just really easy to get this turned over. I'm trying to plat this at about 45 degrees and it's running a little bit long because my I think the core is compressing a little bit, but it's very hard to tell. know if anybody cares if I'm talking when I'm doing this or I just want to watch it I do like the look and feel of the clear natural rawhide though it has a it's attractive in interesting ways Definitely a unique material and Yeah. Well, no matter how careful you are, you will have to unbraid stuff as you go. The trick is to make progress. I think this strand just has a twist in it. Yeah, that's the problem. Let's see if I can straighten out the... It's definitely the skin set out. If you get frustrated about stuff, this might not be for you. <laughs> because I braided for two days on things and thrown the whole thing in the trash because it got dry while I was braiding it and I would never get it to straighten out the way I wanted. So, because once you put stuff under tension, it's really hard to go back to it after it gets wrinkly because it won't ever go back exactly like it was. That's why I haven't stopped since I started braiding this, even though the video is cut out on me a few times. It's just a standard under two over two.
the other thing is this little GoPro Hero Mini. It uh, it overheats, but it uh, it does fit on my head better. It does not have a screen, so you can't see what you're doing. You can get a frame, but you can't see the video you've got until after you're done and download it and pull it into your phone or into your programs. So. This is an area that is very hard to tell the skin from the flesh. The black strand. Approaching two feet. <laughs> We're twenty three inches, twenty four inches. Anyway, if you happen to do rawhide braiding and you don't have a channel, uh, there's a lot of people that seem to be interested in the subject. Another mistake. I must be getting a little tired here. But like I said, it's very hard to tell which side is which, and it's really easy to roll, especially once it gets a little damp. <laughs> 